You know, I made a video, um, I think it was a couple of years ago, about how the SCP Foundation isn't real, going over the basics of why that's a silly idea. And at the time, it was a reply to comments that were, you know, stupid comments like, hey, you think you're a real doctor at the Foundation, but you're not, which was, it's like a compounding collection of stupids all together. What do you call a group of stupids? An idiot? Yeah, we'll go with that. Anyway point is I did that video knowing even in, I, I remember doing it and I actually looked it up not too long ago and it actually says in the description until I have to make another video we're, we're there now so last uh, was it two weeks ago I did the infographics show was wrong and then uh, infographics like a couple of days later maybe even before I got the video out had already done another video which weirdly enough wasn't up to a certain point, it, there were there were things in it that it got wrong, but it was nothing in it that was particularly like super wrong until the ending, where it tried to hint that the SCP Foundation might really be real, which is a fun thing to do, but uh, feels so irresponsible. And if they want to have fun with it, I'm not going to bother with that. Like, there's no second year well until they make and if they make something else that's really off, far off base then maybe we will do it but there's no second version yet of the you're wrong about the infographics show but there is going to be a discussion of why this whole the scb foundation is real thing is stupid let's just get that out of the way right now first of all just first of all everything you know about the scb foundation comes from the scp wiki the SCP Wiki, if I'm trying, okay, conspiratorial fiction, or just general conspiracy theories, have this idea in them that the person who has discovered the thing is particularly clever, like they've done a lot of work, or they, they've got these, they've got, they've, they've, they've done the research, and they figured it out, that this doesn't make sense, and this doesn't make sense, and so if we, uh, we throw those things together, we can, uh, we can figure something out. They're never right, obviously. Well, that's not true. But then you can be a crazy conspiracy theorist and be right about the thing that you have a conspiracy theory about, by the way. Because you had no proof that the thing was correct. It just happened to be correct. Anyway, in order for the SCP Foundation to be real, you would have to accept that the SCP Foundation thought the best idea for keeping itself secret was to release a public database on Wikidot making it seem like it's fiction and that not only on wikidot is a bunch of you know is the listing of the scps which would make sense and they're formatted in such a way as to be realistic but also a bunch of flash fiction and short stories and a couple of novels worth of other fiction that that an international almost unlimited resources organization probably more powerful than most but maybe three governments <laughs> would think that secrecy is best preserved by creating a collaborative fiction writing website and I'm gonna say this again and put emphasis on it again because it's the stupidest part of this on wikidot <laughs> not any kind of they didn't create their own no they put it on wikidot I mean <clears throat> Okay, so it's fine that kids, of course kids are going to think that it's real. It presents itself as real in a certain way. Of course, now the website even has like the social medias at the top left of the screen. <laughs> like any level of investigation beyond surface level would determine very quickly that the <laughs> CP Foundation wiki is a collaborative writing site and not a real secret organization and if it was a secret organization there wouldn't be youtube videos about it they would get taken down there wouldn't be several very successful and more successful than me even uh youtube channels devoted to scp content there wouldn't be an infographic show, video about it two three four i don't know how many they've done now Markiplier wouldn't be playing Containment Breach. I mean, there wouldn't be games available on Steam based around it. Yeah, it's real. It's totally real. Uh, 
It's fine to think it for a moment. It's not fine to continue to think it. And I know that most people don't. All right, let me be totally fair here. I don't think most people believe the SCP Foundation is real, right? And the ones that do are probably below the age of 13. The kids, the super, like, young kids who don't know any better. And that's fine. That's fine. But if you're a, an adult or even a, any kind of teenager and you have gotten come to the conclusion that maybe the SCP Foundation is real, you're an idiot. All right. And before you reach for the subscribe button to unsubscribe for my channel, I just want to say, wait, I don't have anything to say. I guess that's that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Look, it's very important that this kind of thing doesn't get spread around to the younger uh, fan base, that we don't propagate the idea that it's real. There. What's the best way to explain this? It's a fictional world which is enhanced by the, you know, realism of it. And it's fine to create fiction under the auspices that it is real. However, it's also doubly important to make sure that people understand afterwards that it isn't. Because, it, because people will get caught up in any sort of conspiracy theory that they can get their heads around because it makes them feel special that they know something that nobody else does you know the people that think that the moon landings were faked because the, uh, look this uh, this flag is waving in the wind even though it looks exactly the same in most pictures or this is a this is a this is a sound this is a sound stage in in Arizona or out in California desert in the Mojave or the flat, or flat earther people who are like, yeah, the earth is flat. Why is the earth flat? Because, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And conspiracy theories... Look, the people whose minds go in that direction, it's a, it's a tricky thing. Because you can start, like, going down a hill and never stopping with that kind of stuff. Believe it's real for one moment and suddenly, uh, you know, and especially with a super, like, a... A cons an, an extra governmental organization that's trying to keep it's actively trying to keep itself secret then you're like oh yeah uh, Dr. Sumerian's YouTube channel is just made up specifically for me to try and convince me and people like me that the SCP Foundation isn't real and then you could present like obvious like it, that it's a collaborative writing site on Wikidot and people will go oh yeah that's just proof that I'm right that's just broken logic so stopping it before it begins, super important. Now, is this a huge problem in the community? No, I don't really think it is. I said this before, most people don't think this, and most people who do think it are either young and haven't really given it too much thought. You know, you'll get this from a lot of people. I thought the S&P Foundation was real when I first started, which is fine. That's fine. That's fun. Have a little bit of enjoyment in the in the wonder or whatever, but... Let it go. It's not real. It never was real. And if the world or anyone that you know tries to convince you elsewise, just chuckle and move on. If you can't, if you can correct them, correct them. Because if you can get to that early, sometimes you can prevent it from spiraling out of control. People get excited about things, you know? And I don't want to tell people that their fun is wrong. If it's fun, and that's all it is. But... <laughs> But it can get very serious very quickly. The SV Foundation isn't real. It doesn't matter what the infographics show says at the end of its video. It doesn't matter what you read on some SCP article somewhere. It's just for entertainment. It's a collaborative writing website for fiction writers. <laughs> That's it. Science. There's science fiction on there. There's horror on there. There's contemporary fantasy. And that's about it. You can find all sorts of fiction on the SCP wiki. It's lots of fun for everybody. But. No matter what, it's not real. And if you give it any real thought, any, like, concrete logical reasoning, you'll realize that the idea that it could be real is so stupid. Anyway, that's it. I guess that was a little bit of a rant, but uh, 
I remember watching the I was watching the infographic show and I was like, you know what? This is the, the, the second video they did, or at least the one about the SCP Foundation in general. I was like, you know, this is this is a lot of stuff in this I wouldn't have put in it. The there's a lot of stuff in this that I, I think makes this a bad video, but it's not particularly wrong. They go into a lot of detail and then they got to the end where they're like, and maybe it's real. And I was like, fuck. Anyway, as I said, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content and don't feel too insulted, scroll down and hit the subscribe button. That's sort of important. Hit the subscribe button. It's how I know to continue to make content like this. It's how, uh, you know, the channel grows and views grow and every, it's very important. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian. Like everybody here on the screen already has, including Vivi and Dr. J Redacted who have all pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.